right, good evening, Premier Parents. This is Sensei John here. Give me guys the uh, sword curriculum for this coming test coming up on the 14th for our Premier kids. Now from here, uh, certain things the kids should know is how to wear the sword, right? Make sure you're wearing the sword correctly. How to place the sword when we're over here in Seiza. All the way down here, right? Now the first thing you need to know is this Eido, right? For those of you that don't know, Eido is just the art of drawing a sword and going into a form with the sword. Ooh, let me tilt it down for you guys so you can see. There it is. All right, so from here, this is how I start, right? Put the handle of the sword on my right side, the loop facing up. That way when I place it in, it's correct. I go into my forehead bow. Might be some meditation engaged before then. Pick it up with my left hand, pass it to my right, place it into the left side of my sash. Now I'm ready. First step of our Eido form. All right, from here, I want to make sure when I grab the sword, my knuckles are up, not down. My, when I grab the sword, my knuckles are down. It's gonna come out wrong, right? Gotta make sure that every time I cut, the blade is facing the correct direction. So I want my knuckles up and my wrists low. That way when I cut, this is our one here, right? And I want to make sure the tip is pointed forward, not out to the side. I say it's for space. This is really for a martial purpose. I always want to keep the tip pointed at my opponent. Now from here, I'm going to go up here to Jodan as I stand. Then I got one last cut, cut it down. And then from here, hand on my sheath. Raise the sword, cut down to the side for our shibarui. I place the hand, place my uh, that mouth of my hand on top of the sheath. That way I can feel it as I draw down. I'm going to engage my noto. I pull. Once I know the tip is very close to the opening, I angle and then I gently push it back down. A lot of my kids get very comfortable with doing this. No, take care of your weapon, slide it in slow. As we slide in, the feet come together and we bow. I'll do that one more time for you guys and I'll get on to the next thing. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, next thing, our shivery means cutting, cutting practice. Right? I'm going to tilt this back up for you guys. So first off, let's start off with our nine basic sword cuts, right? Oh, you, you don't like that. Tip that back down. So nine basic sword cuts. First off, nice stance, nice sword stance, right? Hand all the way up, hand all the way down. Make sure they're not together, they're separated. And from here, I'm going into my nine sword cuts. First cut is going to be prepped over that right shoulder, cutting down. Boom, that's one. Second cut, prep, two. And we prep not only to just help memorize the pattern, but to also, if I'm doing a pattern with someone, I want them to be able to see the cut before I throw the cut so they're able to react. Maybe we're doing a defense drill or an attacking drill or a fight scene. Either way, you want to make sure to prep the cut before you go. Now, obviously in a real sword fight, I don't want to prep anything. I want to go immediately for that cut there. Anyway, so back to our preps. This is our one, over the right shoulder, cutting down to the left side. This is our two, left shoulder, down to the right side. Then I turn. Make sure when you turn, actually turn the wrist and keep a solid grip of the sword. Don't just turn the sword. You got to turn your whole hand up. Then I bring it up. That's our three. Down, I bring it up again. That's our four. Some of you guys can't really see my footwork right now, but my feet are actually turning with the cut. So if you see here, I've got my stance, turn. Here, turn. Those turns are very important, especially for the power generation. So those are my first four, then I'm going to five. Five are horizontal cuts here. Make sure we extend for that horizontal cut. Prep. Extend for the horizontal cut. Then I bring that elbow straight back. Here, thrust one, 
in here, thrust two, then last thing, I swing it up over the head and I cut straight down for nine. So I'll go ahead and do those nine cuts again. Just had to change that angle so you guys see those, the foot moving, the weight shifting. So again, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This video is long enough. Got one more thing for our sword class. All right. Last thing is going to be our shibari form. Okay. So you got two forms, not to mention your cuts. Okay. Now from here, right? Solid set position, all that good stuff. Hand already prepped on the sheath, thumb on top of the guard. From here, I go into my Chudan no Kamai. And you notice I slide this behind me so the she's not in the way when I'm cutting. So from here, what I'm gonna start with is actually my cut one. I cut one. Then I turn, right? Go to cut number four. Then I swing it around. Cut one on the other side. Notice I step forward to switch stances. Then from here, I pull back, go into my thrust. I'm going to step in with this thrust. Boom. All right. Now, after I step in with that thrust, right side forward. My left leg's going to curl around as I lift it up to cut down. So I go into my Jodan. Left foot steps around. I turn. Right foot is forward when I cut down. Then from here, hand goes on the sheath. I do a circle cut to come back to my front, right foot still forward, and I go into my shibarui, shibarui, and then I no toe and I bow. All right, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. So make sure, especially for that last part, that spin is always pretty tricky. Like even I had to catch myself on that spin. So let me try that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's better. That's better. All right, guys. So first off, parents, let's make sure we bring these kids to class, especially next week since it's test prep week for our test coming up next week. Good luck to all the kids testing. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for a holiday party. Uh, but also parents, make sure you register, right? Uh, for all the kids who are testing for a rank, register, right? If you are participating in the test because I obligated you to participate, you still come to the test, don't skip the test just because you're not ranking, right? If you skip the test because you're not ranking, then you're here for the wrong reason, okay? All right, guys. I'll see you later on. Got class in about an hour. See you guys here. Thank you. Bye.